A repolarization event is gonna eventually happen. So as the signal continues, this is the basic process and it must be maintained in order for neurons to communicate. Now in the axon, it will travel down sped up by the myelin sheaths until it gets to the axon terminal. From here, you are now approaching the synaptic gap. These gaps exist in conjunction with the next neuron and these are known as dendrites, which will go into the cell body of the neuron. Within these synaptic gaps, neurotransmitters are released to communicate to the next neuron as far as what it's supposed to do. When a neurotoxin comes into play, this is obviously going to disrupt all of it. Usually it's going to take place in the synaptic gap itself. Neurotoxins will inhibit or promote too much of the release of neurotransmitters. They can also bind to the receptors on both the pre and post synaptic membranes, disrupting communication from cell to cell, or even the neuron's ability to fire. By binding to the receptors and blocking neurotransmitters, your next neuron never gets the message to actually fire. And this can have downstream consequences, such as your motor neurons not actually firing.